welcome to the channel. Your number one entertainment resource six years running. Get ready for a new dynamic. And hold on to your butts. It's going to be a fucking ride. It's about time someone got here. Our enemies quake at our approach and falter at our charge. Huzzah! With you here now, we can take the sigil stone from that citadel and complete our quest for the good of all Chadenhall. Huzzah! Barwell has been slain. His big balls were clipped. Huzzah! I will remember you. I want to beat him over the head with a repair hammer. Hello everyone, welcome back to Cyberdam Plays Oblivion. And uh, yeah, in the previous episode, we um, closed another gate. <clears throat> and uh, today we're going to try to at least close two. Um, meaning there would probably be one left after that, and then we can, you know, continue on onto another, another task. It, maybe even progress into the um, the main plot a little bit more but I thought I'd get this out of the way first so let's go ahead and do it um, hopefully the audio sounds okay I did a bit of a change like a little bit of changing um, shouldn't be too much of a difference but um, yeah let me know let me know if there needs to be a change uh, okay so we're either going to go to Skingrad or Kvatch uh, we'll save Kvatch second. We'll do that after Skingrad. Um, there is something that's kind of cool in Kvatch that I feel like, uh, we can, um, you know, benefit more by doing that later. <laughs> so, uh, let's see. Talk to the Count over here. <laughs> see what they have going on. Hmm. Was there something I was going to do before? Oh, yeah, I was going to go to a shop. Well, let's do that after we complete this gate. Like, in between gates, we're going to sell some stuff. In fact, yeah, it probably would be wise to do it beforehand. Let's talk to the Count first. And then we'll go to a, a nearby shop. Okay. Where are you, Count Chocula? Um... Let's see. I probably mentioned it several times at this point, but isn't the just the ambiance and the music in the background for <laughs> Oblivion just the most peaceful, laid-back music ever? I know it's a part of a meme now. Uh, you know, it has been for a long time at this point. Um, <laughs> to have like the Oblivion music playing and then your know, NPC talk and all that. Um, but I don't know. It, it's always going to be, in my eyes, just really calming. And nobody's here. <laughs> Where is uh, the Count? Oh, at least his staff. Or anybody. <laughs> Somebody pop in. Yes. I was getting concerned. I'm Hal Lears. Count Skingrad's steward. steward. The Count does not accept unsolicited visitors, I'm afraid. I apologize for the inconvenience. Well, that, that's okay. Uh, oh, buy a house in town. Maybe later. <laughs> um, Farewell. I think this guy's who we had to talk to. The Count will not see you now. Not now. Not ever. He sees no one. Is he blind? I'm Mercator Hositis, his steward. I believe that's all you need to know. Now, I need to know more. Tell me more. Um, aid. I believe the Count may want to handle this matter personally. Probably. Wait here. I will tell the Count you are waiting to see him. Yeah, you, you do that. Chop, chop. <laughs> yeah, just, you just make, <laughs> make your uh, robotic turns. Eventually... You'll Greetings. learn your place. <laughs> Vic the Cautious is responsible for enchanted hmm? item recharge of the Mage's Guild. A good thing he's cautious. I'd hate to have something go wrong. 
I'll keep that in mind the next time I need something recharged. Not that it's something that happens every day, of course. PC. Okay. NPC talk at its finest. Hi. I'm sorry. We've not met. I'm Janice Hasseldor, Count Skingrad. What a cool name. Uh, also, it looks like you're a vampire, my friend. <laughs> um, uh, if you're not, you're not making a good case of it. <laughs> uh, well, granted, he hasn't said anything yet, but still. <laughs> While Skingrad is threatened by an oblivion gate, I cannot spare any soldiers for Bruma. Why not? Whatever you may think of me, I still protect my own. <laughs> this is my city. I just told and you. And Mayrun's Dagen will not have it while I remain Count of Skingrad. Well, somebody's going to have to make you not count. Or I can just take care of the gate. I think I'll just do that. <laughs> okay. Onward. Um, it, let's go to the... Let's go to the town first. Let's see. The west gate, east gate. Okay, well, we could just walk over there. We haven't explored um, this area yet, so... As usual, <laughs> one walkthrough and then uh, we can start fast traveling afterwards. Just want to take a look at the surroundings. Let's hear it. Uh, hear what? Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I do love the visuals in this game. Even though some things are kind of blocky and, um, like when you look at the bushes, I mean, I did enhance the bushes a little bit, um, from the vanilla version, so they don't look as bad as they could, <laughs> um, if I didn't, hadn't modded any, anything, but, uh, anyway, the, they, they are still a little, um, little rough around the edges, but that's cool. It's how it was meant to be played. All right. Ah, old man. Have pity, sir. I got nothing to eat. Oh, is he, this voice going to change? I'm saving up enough for some medicine. Let, let's see. Um. Anvil is all in an uproar. <laughs> First the chapel attacked. Now the prophet ranting about the end of the world. Ah, what else do you have to say? When next... I'm sure of it. First Kavach, now Skingrad. The Daedra won't stop until we're all dead. No, no, no. Go back to the other voice. Blessings of Akatosh upon ye. Okay, that's that's relief. better. <laughs> I love that they <laughs> never fixed the um, the voices. <laughs> the day, but it's the day before patching, and uh, well, before like extreme patching. You know, there was a lot of video games back in the day that still had patches, but like for this game, even the DLC came on discs, so it was kind of cool. Um, okay, so let's find a, let's find a store, uh, local map. All right, uh, Westweld, no, oh, here we go. Uh, Colovian Traders, let's take a look over there. We have some stuff to drop off before we head to the Oblivion Gate. Is this it? Yes, it is. Take a look around. Hello. Okay. Ah, uh, Gunder. Welcome to Colovian Traders, Skingrad's finest selection of general merchandise. I'm Gunder. Just let me know what you want. I want to know why your head was squished. I mean, it, it looks like it's been flattened by a... Like a a large hammer or something. <laughs> uh, comically powerful hammer. Okay, let's, uh... Let's talk. Have a look at my wares. I'm sure there's something to suit you. Okay, as usual, we're gonna haggle a little bit. Um, see, see how far we can get with it. Start at 60%. Uh, okay, where is... There we go. Perfect. Uh, let us sell some stuff that we don't use, obviously. <laughs> um, mage's robe, nah, don't need it. Oh, wow, he, he went for it, okay. Um, wrist irons are fine. <laughs> Those are free anyway. Uh, what's weighing us down, really? Let's see, Dater hearts are pretty heavy. Let's, um, 
let's try selling one at a time, but we You gonna... made a good bit of gold. Okay, we're gonna keep haggling. You need to make a Okay. Well that he was not gonna go for that one then. We'll continue at <laughs> at that amount. Uh okay, that might that actually dropped a bunch of our um encumberness. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I think we're good. For the most part. Wait, wait. No. Okay. Yeah, we're, we might... Mm. We're gonna have to uh, repair this, though. So. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Um, Pearl ring, not really necessary, but we can get You've some gold out of it. Get some good gold out of it. Uh, bronze amulet. It doesn't really do anything, so sure. Black robe. Some things just don't weigh anything, so you don't have to really worry about it that much. An excellent bargain. A fine transaction. Wait, we can actually sell these? Oh my. Um, I don't think we should though. I think we could do something else with those later on. Maybe. Uh, resist fire and frost. I don't think it's worth. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and sell that too. That's a good deal. Get some good money out of it. Um, we only have nineteen, uh, one thousand nine hundred gold. I think, I think that's fine though. As far as um, carry weight. Let's see if we could buy anything. Of. The good value here. Kind of feel like changing up our appearance a little bit. Okay. Vest of the Bard. Oh my. That's interesting. Well, oh, <laughs> it's, it's a shame you can't like tell what it looks like, but it's still over overpriced anyway. So, um, we're gonna go ahead and uh, yeah, we're well, let's let's not Thank do that you. then. Does he um, repair stuff? Or maybe that's some, not something he does. Okay. Be seeing you. Do we have a repair hammer? I don't think we do, but I'd like to know. Gosh, I to just do this. <laughs> uh, repair hammer. Da, 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 da. No, we don't, unfortunately. Okay. All right, that's fine. We still have Argomir's shovel. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. Let's see if we can find a, um, uh, like a blacksmith, probably, I'm gonna guess, is around here. Uh, chemical, hammer, hammer and tongs. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume that's a, that's a blacksmith. That's it. Indeed it is. Reinforced door, though. Is, um... Is, are they not open? Oh, hi. Not so loud, please. What a headache I've got. I'm Agnet the Smith. The pickled, they call me. Why? Sure wish I was pickled right now. Ew. Uh... um, Avert your eyes, children. <laughs> um... I'm sure that's not what she means, but still. <laughs> if it's broken, I can fix it. I need to, you to fix this. For 68 gold? Yes, please. Uh, we're still... Um, we might as well repair our boots and greaves. Ah, why not? Let's top off our shield, too. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much, ma'am. Take care. Have a nice day. I hope you get pickled. All right. Now we can head on to the, um, ye old Oblivion Gate, right over there. So let's go to the East Gate over here. Done our exploring. Now it's, uh... Will help an old beggar? No, you change your voice. I'd rather not. I know I can't trust you. <laughs> I despise people who change their voice on command. Although I actually did that yesterday in the live stream, so um, I shouldn't be one to talk. <laughs> I guess that is what I meant to say. Uh, oh, it's that way. It is yonder. Uh, 
just the peacefulness of Oblivion's world surrounding stuff. <laughs> um, well, I should say Cyrodiil. Oblivion is its own entity, so uh, that would be inaccurate. <laughs> Oblivion itself is a little bit too hostile <laughs> and way too red for my liking. That's one thing I have loved about um, the Oblivion series, or not Oblivion series, it's, I'm so stupid. <laughs> Elder Scrolls series is um, learning about the lore and the, like, um, especially the stuff in between games and even reading books. Um, there, there are some really cool things you can learn about um, the history of like Cyrodiil, Tamriel, um, the history of Mehrunes Dagon, uh, his, the relevance he has to um, each, ga each game. Um, in fact, I, I'm not even sure if he would... I, I still have a lot to learn, but I think... I don't... Yeah, I, I don't think he was actually introduced until... I want to say Arena? Possibly. Maybe he's been there the, the whole time around. There's so much t to um, to read, so um, I'm probably wrong about that. <laughs> but you know, it, it's really cool just um, getting all the ins and outs, stuff that um, you otherwise would not know. You know, <laughs> it's it's nice when games do that, where they have lore on the side that are, isn't like given to you through exposition. Um, I, I know um, Dark Souls does that to a T. <laughs> Basically, you learn everything through lore, and, and there's like no handhelds, or like, not the handheld. Um, they don't give you any story through, through uh, gameplay, really. Um, at least not for the most part. There are some cutscenes here and there, but... Um, you know, it, it's famous for that, I think. Uh, uh, and also famous for being incredibly difficult, but still. <laughs> we did play a little bit of Dark Souls 2 on the channel, and that, that was kind of fun. Maybe I will get back to that at some point. But, um... Yeah. <laughs> Lore talk. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, when I read about Mayrun's Dagon... Actually, it's funny, because I re read about him... Um... Him, it, whatever, uh, the entity, uh, the the monster, basically. Um, I read about him after the, f the first time I played Oblivion, and uh, as for those who have played Oblivion, you know, you know, if you know, you know, kind of thing. Um, I do think there is a <laughs> a little bit of a disconnect if you've only played Oblivion and you. You don't know who Mayrun Stegon is. Um, oh, uh. <laughs> um, there. You have a. It, there's like something extra you get when you look him up and you just like, explore um, different books, especially in like Morrowind. Um, there are books that kind of flesh out. Just the, the importance of Mehrun Stegon. Uh, the My Mythic Dawn is um, obviously brought up a lot in this game. Uh, a lot of cool stuff. A lot of cool stuff you can learn. Um, just through extras, basically. Um, I'm pretty sure there are lore books that are sold. Actual physical books. Um, I've seen a couple online in the past. And... Uh, I don't know, it, it's kind of cool. It, it, it's just, um... <laughs> uh, things that you don't need, that, that just add flavor to the story. Okay. Well, this gate was easy to get to. Um, let's get to the top of the spire. It was so easy to find the, the right, um, you know, tower here. So it looks like we will be getting two Oblivion Gates done today. If it's just this simple. 
die. Yeah. Oh wow, that that could have ended very poorly. <laughs> oh my. Let's heal up a little bit. Hey, buddy. All right. Good thing we repaired our stuff. Oh, whoa. <laughs> that could have destroyed us. Okay. Again, don't step on the... Like, right here? This little crack right here? Nope. <laughs> don't trust it. Hey, Laron. Welcome to the live stream. <laughs> yeah, there, there's, a, there's a bunch. Um, I've said learn like a thousand times in this one episode, but still. It is, doesn't make it less true that so much, <laughs> uh, it, it would be um, an understatement to say that there are a large amount of books to um, explore throughout the Elder Scroll series. They're pretty much everywhere. <laughs> okay, is this the right way to go? Oh wow, we're, we're just thrown right into it. Okay. This gate was super easy to navigate, for sure. Let us say hello to another sigil stone. Oh, what? Take this. Ah, Darth Maul. Die. Aha. Oh, that was one of the scamps that was summoned by him, huh? Haha. <laughs> Die! Sometimes I feel like Lancelot from uh, Monty Python, the Holy Grail, uh, storming the castle. <laughs> Which again, my favorite scene from the from the movie. <laughs> All right, Central Stone collected. We are definitely doing another game tonight. Explosion! <laughs> Everybody dies. <laughs> Ow! Ow! Stop it! Jerk! Get over here! Die! <laughs> you guys just... Couldn't just take the hint. Your gate is no more. Alright, let's head back to the count. That was actually pretty damn easy. Um, okay. Then we'll start on our way to the next, uh, next gate. It is time. You know what? We should save. The, the games like this, um, I've mentioned it in earlier episodes, but, um, <laughs> yeah, game, games like this, uh, namely Bethesda games, tend to crash a lot. So you can never tell. And, um, I did turn auto save off, I believe. You know, just for the sake of um, not clogging my computer with save save files. Hey, buddy. Yes. I want to talk to your buddy. The count left very specific instructions. He does not want to see you again on this matter until the Oblivion Gate outside Skingrad is closed. I thought we did that. Um. Goodbye. Wait. What can I do? What about this? The Count has ordered the guard to defend the city to the last man. There will be no panic here. Okay. Take care. Didn't we? I thought we handled the situation. Hold on. There's another gate. There's another gate. What the heck? Oh, wait a minute. We Did we do the wrong gate? Or was there actually two? Son of a bitch. Yeah, I think we actually hit the wrong gate. <laughs> Maybe. It's fine. We, that one was super simple, and uh, yeah, I'm actually glad we have another one over here. <laughs> Let it be. We, like, for open world games, Oblivion really does give you so much breathing room for, uh, you know, traveling and exploration. It, it's pretty amazing. I, I feel like the more freedom you're given of just movement from all different angles, um, that can be a selling point for me. 
for most games. <laughs> Customization of the character and um, world exploration, you know, open world types of games. Uh, when you pair those two together, I'm probably going to at least try the game. <laughs> oh, hey, buddy. No, you're, can't, you're not going back in your portal. No. No. Going in. All right. For real this time. Skin grad. Round two. <laughs> Fight. <laughs> okay, is this... No, okay. I, I was going to say, is this the actual tower? Because that would be a, a record. The anguish keep. <laughs> Again, the, the, these guys really need to work on naming things. It's always something keep, something spire. <laughs> Get some more, uh, <laughs> go outside your safe space of naming things. <laughs> There's uh, a, a thing called a dictionary that is so much. There's so much in there. <laughs> you can do anything. There are verbs, adjectives, even nouns. Oh, it's gonna. Yeah, okay. Ah, I hate that. Okay, yeah, you do your thing. Come on. Ah! Okay. Oh! Okay, that's bad. Alright. Well, let's, um. Can't wait there. Should we. Use lockpicks. I don't even think we have enough to, like, brute force that. Maybe there's a key around here. A dude with a key. Over here? Ah. They all have citadel hall doors. <laughs> At least they're consistent. Not gonna lie. But they don't seem to have a, a wide variety of uh, architects. <laughs> Where is your imagination, Oblivion creators? <laughs> oh boy. Oh wow, that's not gonna work. All right, let's go back. <laughs> uh, oh my. Hall of Shame. Okay, that's that sounds more like me. Let's do this. Let's shame it up. Die! I don't know why I did that. Not necessary. <laughs> uh, where can we... Oh. Okay. This leads up. Very good. That... As long as we're going up. That's all that matters. Stop blasting. Stop blasting. Hit your friends. <laughs> Namely the scamp. Oh wow, okay, that... A little bit too close for comfort. In fact, no, we're just gonna wait one hour. Okay. <laughs> Had to heal. <laughs> uh, I'm so... I mean, I am kind of glad that um, future Bethesda games took care of that. But for this game, I don't mind healing every now and then. <laughs> Just the waiting mechanic. <laughs> they never, never fixed that. Oh, for Oblivion, that is. <laughs> okay. Climbing the spine of the tower. Hmm. Is this... This isn't going to lead us to where we need to go, though, is it? The Anguish Shrine. It wouldn't make sense though. We we're not in the actual, yeah, we're not in the actual uh, beat it, uh, <laughs> sky beam tower <laughs> yet. All right. Oh wow, all these are cut off. Oh dear. All right. Well, we we can take care of that. Maybe there's a guy around here that has a key, or um, maybe there's a gate switch up here. Let's find out. Oh, the music kicks in. Here we go. Lock one of two has been released. All right. And the second lock, 
would be in another spire, no doubt. Let's see what's over here first, if anything. In the punished. Healing? Sure. Why not? Okay. So let's find the other uh, gear to push <laughs> to unlock the second gate, and then we'll be good. Or the second lock for the one gate, I guess. However that works. <laughs> let's get out of here. All right. Hey, buddy. Oh, 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 somebody has to be quick on their feet. I almost got hit in the back, didn't I? <laughs> All right, well, wait a minute. Oh, that's right back to where we were. Okay. So maybe we um, extended one of the bridges by hitting the switch back there. I hope so. I'm actually really glad that the um, that this <laughs> this gate is a, a bit more challenging. <laughs> the first one was kind of a pushover gate. <laughs> It seems like somebody fell asleep, asleep at the switch <laughs> and uh, decided that, ah, we can invest more time on this gate, you know, designing it, or we can have Arby's. No doubt. People would like it more if the gate was excellent, if it was laid out and uh, in a um, competent way and appeared challenging to the... <laughs> to the player. But I'm hungry. <laughs> okay, yeah, that did not extend the gate. So let's just head back down then from here. Oh, they're gonna they're gonna fight over who goes across the bridge first, so <laughs> let's go to the Hall of uh Eternal Something, whatever the hell that said. <laughs> yeah, there we go. There's our ramp. Ah. Oh yeah, I, I remember you. Oh God. Oh. <laughs> that would have been bad. <laughs> really bad. Almost ran directly into it. All right, cool. Now let's just head back out and let's find that other spire. We already got one of two, right? <laughs> this is the second one. I'm going to guess this is our target. Speaking of target, does anybody ever go to target anymore? <laughs> is it ever um, some, a place to be sought out? I mean, it seems like there are just way too many options nowadays that... Uh, you know, seem to be um, Target, but better. <laughs> um, I think there are just way too many uh, options for <laughs> consumers today. Target and, um, unfortunately, Best Buy, I feel like, are just dying right now. Yeah, Best Buy, I'm more, uh, like, sad about, in a way. Because uh, I used to love going to that place. Get all my games from there. I mean, maybe not all the time, but... On, you know, a fair amount of the time, I would just go in there, uh, go into their game section. Sometimes I'd go to their Blu-ray section, which was um, always stacked. And then, uh, recently, I went to the Best Buy that's local to... Or, yeah, close to me. And, um, ooh. Ooh, that would have been bad. <laughs> uh, I'm glad that swung at the <laughs> worst time for Oblivion. <laughs> um, but yeah, I went to a local one, local Best Buy near me, and unfortunately, there were there was probably it was kind of sad. There, there was only one very small shelf of Blu-rays, and there was nothing else. <laughs> it was. That was it for media 
And, um, I, I don't know. It just, uh, makes me look back at, on, you know, simpler times. And I don't want to get all negative about it. Because, <laughs> uh, they kind of shot themselves in the foot with some of their recent decision making. But, uh, still, I have, I have my nostalgia feels for, uh, some businesses of the past. All right, let's do this. Heading on up. Huh? I hear you. I hear the music change. <laughs> Where are you? Ah. Friend. I really should put the Lancelot music in the background, but um, that would re require me opening up another media file right now, and I... Maybe I'll just do it in post. <laughs> you know, strangely enough, I find playing games like this very therapeutic. I know it sounds really weird, and it probably is, <laughs> but um, just personally, I, I could just, <laughs> I feel so natural, you know, talking about pretty much anything. Um, while playing this, it's kind of a turn off your brain kind of game, but not when it comes to the story, but like the gameplay itself, you just, <laughs> just go in there, wing it, swing it, and, uh, have fun, <laughs> which I still think is, um, kind of lost on modern day video games. The, the developers seem to have forgotten that the point of video games are to, to escape, to have fu to you know have fun. Yeah. Um, there you go. Lock number two. Bridges have been extended. Thank you very much. Ow. Son of a bitch. Um, but but yeah, you know, uh, it's it's not all bad. I I do think that there are still really good developers in the world that, um, oh, 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 is it, it's moving, <laughs> it, at least it was moving, did, okay, <laughs> that was odd, <laughs> okay, where's the actual, like, okay, that has to be the actual gate, right, or is there a fourth one around here? I'm just going to assume we have to go to that one <laughs> and head on over. Yeah, I know there are a lot still developers out there. There are even AAA video game developers that are still um, so prioritized story uh, story making above like pretty much every, anything else stories and uh, just focus on making the game fun. Focus on Making the uh, the customer happy, you know. I don't know why that is, isn't really a given anymore, but uh, to a lot of people. But who knows? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'll never get used to that. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, I'd love to hear some. Um, if you guys want to like, let me know in the comments. Uh, some of your favorite video game uh, developer studios and um, and companies, just in general. Like for me, my favorites have always been like Capcom. That, that's always been a. I mean, granted, I have a bias because I love Mega Man so much, but um, uh, they have made some of my favorite games, probably ever. I'm talking uh, Mega Man, Dead Rising, Street Fighter. Um, let's see. Oh, <laughs> recently, Dragon's Dogma 2 came out. And uh, th they also created that series. So that also fits. And you know, I played a little bit of Dragon's Dogma 2 already. And it, it's another one of those games where you can just like kind of turn your brain off and explore which is really nice um 
I was considering playing Dragon Dragon's Dogma 2 on the channel, but I do feel like that might um, turn off some people. Uh, I don't know. Maybe in the future, um, if people are anybody's interested, and uh, wants me to play Dragon's Dogma 2 on the channel, or even Dragon's Dogma 1, um, namely uh, Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen, I think is the title, the um, like the, the the best version of the first one. Um, if you want me to get into that one, I'd, I'd be more than happy to. Uh, why, why can't we get <laughs> to that center tower? That's to be another entrance we're not catching over here. I know there's um, another bridge. I can't really pinpoint which way that would be. There are a lot of doors in this place, after all. Maybe over here. I remember the... Okay, you know what? We're going to try. But we only have two picks, so let's save first. <laughs> let's give this a go. <laughs> oh boy. That did not a good start. Okay. Ah! Really bad luck there. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. Thank goodness I, I'm playing this on the PC, because um, oh, one second, should have done it there. Okay. Ah. Yeah, you know what? Um, let's see here. I have an idea. We're gonna. Let's try it one more time. I'm... I, I want to, like, just go out and do other... Um, find another way in there, but... Uh, I think there'd be, it would just, we'd have to go... Long distance to find uh, another way in, but... You know, we're just we're just gonna go around. I think I think there might be another way through. Probably won't even need a lockpick because somebody should have a key. And with two lockpicks, you can't, really can't do anything. All right, moving on ahead. In fact, let me check one thing real quick. I'm gonna actually make sure that. Audio is pretty balanced. I, I did it earlier, but I just want to be sure again. Okay, I think that's good. Waste of Oblivion. Okay, is this going to be the gate that's extended? Yes. Thank goodness. It took a while. Okay, so it looks like we're about to complete Living Gate number two. We're gonna probably even do a third one if YouTube keep, uh, you know, keep, holds up and it keeps the stream going. Okay, yeah, we hit, go up that way. Okay, any um, any baddies over here? A little disappointing that there aren't more. <laughs> I want more enemies to strike. Okay. Hey, buddy. Oh, buddies. How you guys doing? Ha ha. Uh, uh, what's the button? Uh, yes. <laughs> ha ha. I'm childish. And I almost died there. <laughs> if I was a little bit more center... If that hit me center mass, I would be dead. Excellent. Ah! Nice try. Uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and grab that. Sure. They sell for good monies. Two Darth Mauls. This isn't good. Yeah! The power. Ow. 
Oh, that's probably gonna make me over encumbered, huh? Is that the spell that makes you over encumbered? Um, let's see, 200, no, no, it actually didn't affect us that way. Works for me. Hmm. All right, ah, ah. stop it. <laughs> Get the hint. <laughs> oh, these poor guys. They're just doing their jobs. I'll take his heart. <laughs> Reach very slowly into his chest and pull it out. Although, I think I mentioned this one, one time before in our previous episode. <laughs> that we just uh, reach into his pocket, he just has his heart, heart in there. <laughs> That's how I like to imagine it. Yeah! Ah! Garth Maul, number three. <laughs> oh, that did it, though. Okay, well, let's see. Do we have um, a potion that can get rid of that ailment? Wait a second. Da, da, da. Oh, wait, no, that's not right. Potion. There we go. Um, I don't think... No, that doesn't do it. Look at the symbol on the side there. Uh, that doesn't seem right. Drain health. No. Okay. Uh, restore fatigue. Mm, I don't think that would do it. Water breathing? Absolutely not. <laughs> you know what? We're just going to have to wait it out then. <laughs> just wait a few seconds and the spell will fade. What a jerk thing to do, this guy. In fact, uh, can I do this? Maybe it's the wrong button. There we go. You can go off into the flame. If I can lift. Uh, he's too heavy. Screw you. Let's move. <laughs> I'll take your money. Who's shooting at me? <laughs> I guess it doesn't matter. Because they're about to blow up. Ha! We die together. <laughs> you know, I never actually tried jumping into the portal before. <laughs> into the center, uh, you know, sky beam, whatever. Okay, closed the oblivion gate us to outside of Skingrad. I should speak to the Count about sending aid to Skingrad. Oh, now that Skingrad is no longer. Directly threatened. We got this. Any more friends out here? Or I I think the one that was attacking me on the inside just died with the died with the gate. <laughs> so let's go ahead and head on back. This time I'm sure the count won't mind us that much. Or or at least his his little crony goon guy will uh <laughs> will Except that we won. All right, crony goon guy. I want to talk to the count. Oh, I guess I had to wait a few hours. <laughs> it tends to be that way. All right. Hey, you. Good to see you. Funny shoes. Yes. Your bravery is the talk of Skingrad. Well done. And your collarbone is awful. Um, yeah, I want to talk to the buddy, the friend, the, the big guy. I believe the Count may want to handle this matter personally. Of course. Wait here. I will tell the Count you are... Yeah, we've been through this. Show me your boss. Oh, hi. Okay, you just keep staring at me. <laughs> Where is Mr. Count? Mr. Skingrad himself. Ah. Oh, he's coming out anyway. You you don't have to. It is a privilege. <laughs> I was like, you don't have to. Uh, yes. Oh, 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 okay. We're being a little aggressive now. Um, I want to talk to you about aid for Bruma. Mayrun's Dagon has no more love for my kind 
than for my mortal subjects. Less, perhaps, as we make poor slaves. Anybody makes poor slaves. You have helped Slavery me by closing the Oblivion Gate near Skingrad. I will likewise help you by sending aid to Bruma. You seem very happy about it. I'm going to move, and I'm going to leave you now. Very slowly. Actually, very quickly. I, I'm, I back up pretty fast. <laughs> okay. Let's move on. Um, so we're going to do Kavach. The Kavach Gate. And then we'll save Leowin for next time. Next live stream. But, for now, let's head on over. And see what the guards have to say. I mean, we did close this gate for them, so... They should be, um, at least partially grateful. Let's find out. And find out, like, how many more gates they, <laughs> they have to close over here. The Chapel of Akatosh. Report, soldier. Sir, we're all that's left. Barak Inian, myself, and these civilians. That's it? That's it. There's no one else. There were Talk others, to this sir. guy. I didn't expect any of us to live this long. Maybe we're not doomed after all. You see, in a comedy, this guy would just get shot in the head with an arrow right now. <laughs> and I kind of wish he did. That'd be funny. Farewell. Okay. We've done it. I can't believe it. I didn't really think this would work. Maybe we do have a fighting chance. I wouldn't count on it. Oh, yes. We're not done. Not even close. This was <laughs> only the first step. If this town is to be ours again, we'll need to get inside the castle. Ah. You've come this far with us. Will you go further? I did all your work for you before. going to succeed. I'll need much more of your help. Don't need I all of my you. help. <laughs> what we've seen so far is nothing compared to the battle that likely awaits us. Take a few moments to catch your breath and think it over. <gasps> when you're ready, let me know and we'll get underway. Okay, let's get underway. But first, um, there is another task. Let me see here. Hold on. Alex for Bruma. Show the objective. Okay. I think this might be a side mission. But it, it does is highlighted as one of the quests, so let's go ahead and do it then. I think that's. Are you ready to go? We need your help getting to the castle, but we need to move soon. I know. Let's go. <laughs> I knew you'd be up to it. Our goal is the castle gate. We should be able to use this door to get out to the plaza in front of the castle gatehouse. You know the drill. Stick close and keep your eyes open. Let's move out. The drill is normally I do everything and you guys watch. But let's do it anyway. I don't mind. <laughs> All right, guys. You're gonna. Oh, you're just gonna walk right by him. Okay, well, just like clockwork, I guess. <laughs> I've fought mud crabs more fearsome than you. Are you guys? Are, have like nearsighted issues or something? Because you just walk right but past the threats and then. Damn it! This is no good. Well, the gates are locked. And the only way to open them is from within the gatehouse. Why'd the fire stop behind you? <laughs> um. I hate to refuse you, my friend. But with the castle still in the hands of those Daedra, I need every soldier I have left. All right. Well, let's do this then. We can't open that gate from out here. The only mechanism for raising it is inside the gatehouse. Makes sense. And I'll take care of it then. The only way to get into the gatehouse now be through the passage at the North Guard House, but that's always kept locked. You have a key? Hurry and find Barrage Inian. He should be back in the chapel and should still have the key to the Guard House. That's the gentleman I just Once talked to, you, right? It, <laughs> get to the Guard House, find the passage, and open that gate. Then we can get inside the castle and secure it. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have mentioned the you know, arrow in the head joke. Haha. -ha. <laughs> I think he'll still be okay with us. 
Hey, uh... We saw the smoke from the gold road while out on patrol. How can we help? You could let... Okay, follow me. We'll be right behind <laughs> you. You don't have another option, really. Um... At first, like, as soon as I saw the guard, like, pop up in front of me, I thought I did something wrong and they were going to arrest me. <laughs> I'm kind of working, guys. I'm just waiting for Captain... Yeah, I know. I know, Barrich. I need the key. Yes, I have it. Why? Gimme. No time to explain. <laughs> <laughs> you do the guard one little favor and suddenly you think you're Mattias' best friend. Yes. You probably couldn't find it on your own. I'm coming with you. If we make it, I'll open the door for you. If we don't... I've still got some fight left in me! Uh... He's gonna die. <laughs> he is so gonna die. <laughs> I don't think there's any better way to... <laughs> to go about this, I think. Oh, he is so dead. <laughs> Maybe even these guards. These guards might die too. Die! Creature of the damned. Okay, well that was fun, guys. Well done. Moving on. <laughs> uh, oh. Want to start a barbershop quartet? Okay. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> All right. This guy's gonna die, hero. <laughs> Hero's death. Flat on his face in a pile of dung. Like, these guys, once they get focused on one enemy. <laughs> They don't even mind if another one pops up right in front of them. It's like a tunnel vision. Okay. Look out! You guys having fun over here? Die, damn you! Okay. Die. Wow. At least they're spirit Move on. Gosh. This feels it should feel so much more epic. <laughs> Will you fall down and bleed to death? Catch up, speed. Maybe first person would be better in this situation. <laughs> For a cinematic feel. Oh, hi. Again, walking right past the enemy. Is that their strategy? <laughs> Ignore them, maybe they'll go away kind of thing? Oh, well. Am I? All right. Good. Is this the way in? Trap door to Kavach uh, passageway. I think this is the right route. Um. Yeah, it is. Let's go. <laughs> we can leave the other guy behind. Okay, I found the tunnel entrance in Kavach. I need to follow it to the gatehouse so I can rest or raise the gates and let the guards into the castle courtyard. Let's go ahead and do that. Back to third. Yeah, don't look creepy, guys. All right, I guess this is, wow, is there any way out? Oh, here we go. Take a look. Inside a book, reading rainbow. All right, I've raised the gates into Castle Kovach. I must now help Salvian and his men defeat the monsters within. Sounds like a plan. Oh, wow, hey guys. Welcome, welcome to the party. Ah! <laughs> These guys have to be like partially blind, but not enough to uh, get um, you know medical benefits from the government. The uh, you know Cyrodiil government. They're only maybe twenty percent blind. This clear. We've got to get inside and find the count before it's too late. Move out. All right, let's do that. 
Whatever this guy said. Well, huzzah! All right. You're pathetic. Why? Yeah. I don't think so. I don't think these guys are pathetic at all. I mean, at least they can see. Oh, my blade skill increased. Excellent. Is that enough to level up? But these camps are a bit tougher. Oh, wow, you didn't stand a chance. It was him! It was the guy! Wow. Called it from, like, a mile away. <laughs> Poor man. It's unfortunate. But, yeah, we are over-encumbered now. Okay. So, let's drop some stuff. Uh, we don't need the air or the bow, do we? Really, the sword is... Wait, hold on. No, we don't need the sword. It's actually weaker than... The one we currently have it, you know, when it's at best top condition. Okay, it's a great hall. Oh wow. <laughs> Zombie. Die, oh wow, I'm sorry. Someone's been murdered! Murder! Uh, yeah, who? Uh yo, ah, what was that? <laughs> okay. Murder. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry guys, that was me. <laughs> My bad. Okay, is this where we need to go? Oh, hi! Wow. <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't have been boasting, buddy. Count's quarters. Okay, that's where we're supposed to go, right? Oh no. Another boaster. You guys are full of yourselves. Oh, yeah, you can deal with him. I, I want to look the at the... Oh, wow. All right. Mr. Goldwyn. Goldbloom. What's wrong? The best you can do. Die. Uh, I found the body of Count Goldwyn. <laughs> I should deliver his signet ring to Salvian Matias. Let's take his stuff. Um, Topaz ring. Oh, signet ring. There we go. Um, maybe we can... You know, we can pocket this. <laughs> Let's see if we can. I kind of doubt it that he's going to buy it, but um, let's try. Do an actual renegade move. Okay, where are you, Salvian? Ah! ah. <laughs> okay, okay, we're fine. Wow, that does take chip away at your health pretty fast. Sleeping quarters. Is everybody else dead? <laughs> oh, this guy is. Imperial Legion soldier. Oh, poor guy. Somebody want to put their fingers across his eyes like in the movies? <laughs> okay, well. He's seen better days. And there's an arrow in my shoulder. And in my other shoulder. Ow! In the back of my neck! Pain! <laughs> my goodness, where is that guy? Oh, yeah, that's right. I didn't put the quest as, um... As our, uh, you know... Yeah, here we go. Has to be the active quest. Is he still all the way back here? <laughs> Matias! Salvian! Where are you? Hey, buddy. Where is the Count? Why is he not with you? Why is the guy's head behind you stretched vertically, like, painfully? Um, he didn't make... Oh, wow. We're not going to be that aggressive, but here. He didn't make it. We... we were too late. If only we'd gotten here sooner. This is indeed a dark day for all of us left. But I thank you for risking your own life to help us. Did you find the Count's ring by any chance? Can we lie here? No, I don't have it. Secure it at once. It's the only thing we have left. Oh, do I have to? Oh, I have to. Do get you have them. the Count's ring? Yeah, fine. Here it is. At least this is safe. Thank you. I shall make sure it is protected for the time when a new Count is crowned. 
Can I Here, be count? Take this. I have no use for it. I'm tired of fighting. It may serve you well in days to come. I don't like that he's smiling when he said that. <laughs> I have few enough men to spare, but you have more than earned our help. Thank I you. I will send what aid I can. Bruma must not share the fate of our city. Oh, really? Nice. Well, I do appreciate it, but, you know, you guys can go be friendly with each other. I'll be PG about that. <laughs> um, okay, so this is a good spot, uh, part to uh, end the stream for tonight. Um, a, pretty, a pretty lengthy episode, but um, <laughs> got two more Oblivion Gates out of the way. And uh, that's very good because it looks like we only have either one or two left we have leowin and there might be one near the imperial city we have to take care of i'll um i'll have to look that up and uh yeah so um with that being said i want to thank you all for watching this has been another episode of cyberdam plays the elder scrolls for oblivion what is it citizen shut up and <laughs> i'll see you all in the next video have a great night everyone